Hello, um, this is Rosanna Muller. I am going to talk about my interest in Teresa de la Parra's Tres Conferencias. Um, Teresa de la Parra was a journalist, a short story writer, and she had written two successful novels when she had been invited to Colombia, Bogota, and Barranquilla and later in Cuba to talk about her interest in how women had contributed to what she called Alma Americana, the Latin American soul. Um, she delivered these lectures in uh, Teatro Colón in Bogota several times because there was so much demand for them. She was at first hesitant to deliver these lectures. Um, she was not uh, really, didn't co really consider herself to be a public speaker, but um, <clears throat> she uh, had suggested to her friends that she was interested in writing a book about Simon Bolivar. And she identified with him. And uh, unfortunately, they both died very young of tuberculosis. But she wanted to write a book about Bolivar from the point of view of his, uh, the women who had an influence in his life. So she began to study Latin American history seriously, and she corresponded with uh, historians. So, um, Teresa de la Parra writes about this in her letters to various people <clears throat> she was a correspondent to. And um, basically the three lectures were divided into three parts. She started off with the conquest and the women who participated in the conquest, like Doña Marina and Nusta Isabel, also the influence of the Catholic queen, Isabella. So she wanted to make sure that these women were not left out of history. She commented that most history was written by men and it was written about grand events like battles and famous men. So she decided to turn that around <clears throat> and write the uh, three lectures and deliver them. So the first is devoted to the conquest. The second lecture is devoted to the colony and how Venezuela and other Latin American countries were uh, on their way to independence, how they were influenced by enlightenment readers and writers, um, and how women helped bring that independence movement about what their sacrifice was during this period in history that Teresa de la Parra felt had been overlooked. She took a, a different turn in the third lecture because that one really shows how much she was interested in writing Bolivar's book, uh, the biography of Bolivar which she never got to do. As a matter of fact, some of her critics called it a, not a good intentioned thing to be doing <clears throat> to write this book. But um, she starts off by talking about the women who were important in Simone Bolivar's life. And um, she ends up by giving a lot of credit to Fanny de Villars, his cousin, um, the fact that he all of a sudden became a rich man and his legacy and ends up with a real tribute to Manuelita Science, who she felt had saved Bolivar twice, had saved his life and had really influenced him in, in many, many ways. In each of the lectures, she ends up with uh, sort of a quote from the Bible 
And in the third lecture, she mentions how Manolita science should not be looked down upon, how if, like in the Bible, you should not cast the first stone because she really helped to develop uh, this man and was behind him and how highly principled she was. So aside from her two novels, I think Teresa de la Parra's short stories are very important. Her letter, letters are very, very interesting to read. And the uh, three lectures are worth reading since they really point to how this woman became interested in history and how because of her popularity and her good looks, um, she was able to achieve a position in which she could influence people in their thinking. She did say that she thought her audience might be disappointed because they would be interested in hearing what she had to say about herself and her personal life. And she made a joke and said, I'll come back 30 years from now and tell you about that. But this is what I really want to talk about, the three lectures. Thank you.